What is up on my lovely subjects? It's your Royal Highness Scene King here. Today I am giving you guys a story time about an all time low. And no, I did not plan on wearing my all time low shirt for this video. I had a doctor's appointment today and I just randomly put this shirt on, not realizing that I had to do this video today until I got home and waited for my dad to leave. But anyway, so. All Time Low was a band that my sister listened to. Um, the first song I remember hearing by them was Damned If I Do Get Damned If I Don't, which is the song that got me into All Time Low. Um, I love Damned If I Do Get Damned If I Don't. It's not my favorite All Time Low. It is, but... My favorite all-time low song is Six Feet Under the Stars. I love Six Feet Under the Stars. Every time I hear Six Feet Under the Stars, I just, I don't know how to explain it. I just, I love Six Feet Under the Stars so much. I also, like, I really love, like, Dear Maria Count Me In and Kids in the Dark and I Love Like War and Weightless and Good Time and, like, Drugs and Candy and Break Your Little Heart, too. But, yeah. Um, so, they only have two of their albums on their YouTube right now, so I can't go through all of their albums and tell you guys what I know from each of their albums from their YouTube, because they only have uh, their Dirty Work album and the Last Jump Renegade album on their YouTube, but um, like I did with my last story time, I have all the albums and songs I know from them right now on a sheet of paper, so let's start with, I did this like from Google. So let's start with the very first EP they released. The three words to remember in dealing with the end EP. I don't know anything from that EP. The three words to remember in dealing with the end. I know nothing from that. The put up or shut up EP. The only song I know from that is Coffee Shop Soundtrack. Which is an okay song. It's not that great, but it's okay. Uh, from So Wrong, It's Right, All Time Low's very first full-length album. I know Six Feet Under the Stars, which is my favorite All Time Low song. Dear Maria, Count Me In, which I love. Remembering Sunday, and Poppin' Champagne. From Nothing Personal, I know Weightless. Break a Little Heart, and Damned If I Do Ya, Damned If I Don't, and Lost in Stereo. I really like Weightless and Break a Little Heart, and I love Damned If I Do Ya, Damned If I Don't. Um, I don't know anything from the Dirty Work album, which is kind of sad, but I just, I don't know anything from that album. Uh, from Don't Panic, I know The Reckless and The Brave, and Backseat Serenade. I love Backseat Serenade. It's a great song. And from Don't Panic, It's Longer Now. I know those and A Love Like War featuring Vic Fuentes from Pierce the Veil. I love A Love Like War. That song is amazing. It's one of my favorite all-time love songs, but it's not my favorite because my favorite is Six Feet Under the Stars. But anyway, um... Future Hearts, the fifth or sixth full length album they released. Like, if you count Don't Panic, it's longer now as a separate album from Don't Panic, then Future Hearts would be their sixth album. But if you count it as kind of the same album, it's their fifth album. But from Future Hearts, I only know Something's Gotta Give and Kids in the Dark. And I love Kids in the Dark. It's a great song. And Last Young Renegade, their most recent album, I know everything from that album. And 
I love Jugs and Candy. Jugs and Candy is my favorite song from Last Young Renegade. I also really like Dirty Laundry, Good Times, Nice to Know You, Nightmares, and Dark Side of Your Room. But yeah, that's all I know from All Time Low. So, the next band I want to do after this, um, next week, will be... Asking Alexandria. So, I will hopefully do a rant next week and then tell you guys how I got into asking Alexandria. So, this has been Scene King. I will see all of my lovely subjects in my next video.